water. Most of us take it for granted. We drink it, cook with it, play in it. But some people use water to make beauty. They add just a little color to water and use the mixture to create stunning art. It's like painting with a puddle. This is Heather Clements. She's an artist by training, trade, and temperament. She paints explosive murals and draws portraits of photographic detail. She can even cut paper into dainty, graceful works. At this point in her career though, Heather works with water. Her paintings are exquisite. She somehow combines the floating airiness of standard watercolor with a strict, detailed realism that makes it look as though her subjects are emerging from an underwater world to take their very first breath. But how did she get here? I have always, always loved art from the moment I could pick up a crayon. I don't really remember a time that I didn't love art and want to be an artist. Well, this is City Arts Cooperative. So we've got the gallery here. We've got uh, several visual artists that are here in the gallery. And so you all, okay, so you share the room. Right. Yes, yes, so we share the bench, uh, yes. Okay. So it's a cooperative, so in, rather than one person being like the boss, we are all equal. Usually art classes go on in here, although um, sometimes we have like intimate music events that go on in here. <laughs> this is a mural that I created just kind of for giggles, because I was getting into murals a little, and I wanted to kind of brighten up the classroom a little, so... I, uh, I painted this mural. A signature of Heather's work is her astonishing skill in capturing detail, especially human faces. It can be startling to see at first and to know the likeness staring back at you was made with human hands. I think it started really just as a child and not really having a lot of control over things in my life that I you know, didn't really like that and art and more specifically detail was a way of kind of having this control and also this hyper focus that really takes you out of everything else that's going on. And I'm just, I'm just drawn to it, you know, like little pores and hairs and lashes, like I love them. I think that they're beautiful and I hate airbrushing, you know, so I want to embrace the, you know, the natural beauty of, of humans and, and I think details are a way of doing that. Heather rarely starts a piece directly on canvas. Most times she works out her thoughts in a sketchbook first. This is where she can play and let ideas collide, forming new thoughts and directions. It's this absolute, like, judgment-free playground zone for anything, anything that pops into your head, whether it's detailed or abstract or silly or romantic or whatever. It's just a playground for all of it, and I love them. The cool thing about sketchbooks, they bring you back in a way, way deeper way than photographs do. Again, it's this in the moment thing. I'm not thinking about the past or the future. I'm very much in the moment and every single line has to happen individually. There's this line kind of jutting right in front of my eyes and here I write uh, so close I can look past it. So, you know, it's like you can't even be in focus because it's so there. And so I think that's, you know, part of that whole denial of, of something that I was going through at the time. You look back on it and, you know, all of a sudden I'm back on my couch in my little brownstone in Baltimore. Heather's most recent work speaks to humans' role in and connection to nature. I decided to make it about the environment because I care a lot about that, as, as well as none of the other social issues or anything are going to matter if we don't have a planet to live on. But I don't want my focus only to be on the negatives that we've done and the 
um, the bad side of destroying the environment, but the fact that if we really truly embrace the environment and find a connection that humans once had, that we are feel more whole, that we're happier humans. Heather is also a great painter of women. In fact, most of her subjects are female. It's um, more of an openness and a nurturing that works with um, my themes, you know, the whole embracing of nature. You know, women are the birth givers, the catalysts for growth, and um, more, more open to connections generally. Her portraits also celebrate women as they are and should be. Women are portrayed more often in the media, in magazines and all of that, and often in, you know, a very sexualized, perfected way. I like to portray, you know, real women as they are. When I get really detailed, I'll paint every little random hair and pore and freckle and mole. These things are beautiful and we shouldn't be so hypercritical of ourselves and thinking that we need to be some sort of semi-robotic thing that the media tells us to be. And so I think it's really a big responsibility to portray women. And so I take that seriously and I try to show them as, as totally natural. So what do you get when you combine nature, women, water, and color? In the hands of Heather Clements, you get this. We humans can make art with just about anything, but there is something special about watercolor. Something about harnessing our most active and unpredictable element and using its unruliness to capture a moment in time. Because you're really using just this minuscule amount of paint and it's mostly water. And so just that natural fluidity of it and you know, water follows the path of least resistance and you know that and you embrace that. Um, or the way it splashes or puddles and swirls. The more water that you use, the less control that you have. Just the pure colors out of the tube are just, they're exciting. <laughs> they're fantastic, I love them.